February is considered Heart Month, and we're not just talking about Valentine's Day. Chief Health Editor Dr. Partha Nandy is here now with more. And Dr. Nandy, we understand you put your heart to the test, and so why'd you do this stress test? You know, I'm, I'm actually going to uh, climb 71 flights of stairs in downtown Detroit at the GM Rensen to, to benefit the American Lung Association. So I thought, listen, you know what? I want to check my fitness level and see what's going on. So when I do that, I entered uh, Beaumont's Cardiovascular Performance Clinic, and I wanted to show how easy it is for you to get your own heart checked to determine what level of exercise you can handle. Please take a look. Hi, Dr. Nandy. My name's Mary. I'm going to do your echo test. It's an ultrasound of the heart. My first stop, the echocardiogram. We can tell the size of the heart. We can tell the function of the heart. We check the valves, look for heart murmurs. Mary wires me up. I had rheumatic fever as a child. I think it was about seven when I had it and was treated. So some people with rheumatic fever can have heart valve problems. The only history I have is controlled hypertension and I have sleep apnea and I wear a mask for that every night. She preps my chest so she can get a good picture of my heart. So if you had a heart murmur, we'd be able to see. This took about 20 minutes, very easy test. Mary made it easy for me. Next, it's on to step two. And the stress test with Roger. This is the same exact test that's done for Olympians, for professional athletes, collegiate athletes to determine where their fitness at. Before we get started, I make it clear to Roger that I really haven't been exercising for two weeks. So this is, yeah, there you go. Then comes the Darth Vader type mask. Oh, I'm your father. I need to get two minutes of resting values. I'm also gonna get your oxygen saturation measurements. And then I'm gonna make it a little bit faster and give you a pretty decent sized hill to go up here. O2 sets, looking good, 98% right now. The current speed and incline that he's at is 3.4 miles per hour and 14%. This is great, it gives me a lot of information that we really need, so I, I'm loving it. A little sweat didn't hurt anybody. You're doing a good job, Dr. Nandy. 12 minutes and 50 seconds after stepping on that treadmill, I reached my limit. And the main reason I'm doing this is because I have a family, I have kids, I want to really be around for them and, and not have issues down the road. And it's time to determine my fitness capacity. Just based on what you're telling me, it sounds like I don't think you're getting enough aerobic conditioning. I learned my anaerobic threshold is 164 beats per minute. That's the point my heart stops using oxygen as its main source of energy. You'd want to do something called interval training, where you're exercising or running slightly above that for like a minute or two, and then slightly back it down below that, allow your body to recover. Then I visit with cardiologist Dr. Harold Friedman. So the first test that you had done today was the echocardiogram completely normal. Well, that's great, that's great news. The uh, baseline EKG is normal. The uh, EKG response to exercise is completely normal. You're in fairly good condition. Well, that's great. You're not that's ready for the Olympics, but that's right. you're in pretty decent shape. I may be in good shape, but there is certainly room for improvement. And I have lots of work to do as I move towards a new beginning. That was great. You know, this clinic is designed for athletes and exercisers and active adults who want to optimize their training and enhance their performance. Also for people with a family history of heart disease like me who just want to get checked out. It costs about $375. You don't need a referral. Other hospitals may have different programs and prices. So I learned a lot. You know, I, I want to make sure my heart was okay. Good deal. Yeah. Did you feel like it was worth that? I mean, you only took a short time to do it, but $375 with totally this information. Worth it. Okay. It's worth, you know, here's why. Because I've got kids. Yeah. The, the higher my fitness level, the lower the risk is of heart disease. I want to be around for my kids and I want to be able to do this the 71 stair climb so that's why it was really important for me right and that interval training will be so important so i guess you're going to start doing that now i think so you know, bit, here's the thing we all have excuses i had some excuses i was traveling whatever it is you know the thing is that excuses just don't cut it you've yeah. got to do it if you travel go to your hotel and, and, and you know, they have a fitness center so you know i, I take bl i take full responsibility and i want to go back i'm going to get the cardio training i need and go back and then do better not just because i want to have a number that's better but i want to be there for my kids and and do better for them what do you do? You show up with a check? I mean, just quickly. Yeah, you, you just, just go there and then you could. Well, up. you just have to call them for an okay. appointment, and then I think right. I think you just pay them. The idea is that you don't need a referral, and you you people are usually in good health and they're exercising. They just want to find out how can they do better. All right, thanks a lot, Doc. Hey, my pleasure. Good deal. Right.